what do I mean by the travel cover? Um, let me go ahead and show you. So again, we have the, these color-coded um, pouches. You can see it right there. Um, there's one, two, three, four, and five. So these actually bought separate because it didn't come with the sports um, model. So there's also a compartment here at the top, which the um, Sport Pro also has. Now with the cover, this one I bought separately. This is a cover for your Zuka. Okay, let me just go ahead and turn the camera. So this is its cover. Um, I'll go ahead and put that on the bag later so you'll see what it, what um, its purpose is. So if you look inside the bag, basically it's um, flat all the way through the back. Now um, what I like about this is it, it has this um, tiny chain where you can put in a purse. Um, for your um, coins or keys or probably your credit card pouch right there so it's easy to locate or your camera or your phone so yeah so that's just basically it <clears throat> now um, I'll go ahead and discuss the difference and the pros and cons of each bag a little bit later on um, when we finish the outside part. Okay, so let's lock this in first so that it's easier. Now as you can see, at the sides, there's really not much of a difference for the two bags. Um, aside from the color, as well as the, um, the holes here and there, there's really not much of a difference except for this um, mesh compartment because with the Suka Sport Pro, it's not already a mesh material. It's already the Zuka um, cloth that they used. And it's still the same. You have compartments for a business card or business cards. Another compartment here with a zip and then there's your extra outside compartment. Now what I've noticed is with this Zuka Sport, it has this really poorly constructed um, pouch right here. It's kind of like just um, stitched on both sides to close it to make a pouch. While with the Zuka Sport, what I appreciated with this model is that it has a hemline and the material is the material is a lot more um, durable, I guess. It's more durable to the feel. So on the other side, it's just the same thing. There's no difference. It's just the same thing. Um, when we look at it, of course, the main difference would be the wheels or the casters. Um, this one has two wheels and the Zuka Sport Pro only has one set. <clears throat> now um, with this one, the lower wheels has LED lights. And with the Zuka Sport Pro, no lights. But really sophisticated kind of wheels. They kind of like, they kind of resemble a um, race car <laughs> wheel right there. That's really awesome. So this one, is good for climbing stairs. They're able to climb stairs without having to damage the back part of the, your Zuka frame. This one is not good for climbing stairs. You're eventually going to hit it, but it does have these bump guards right there. So as you can see, the Zuka Sport has these regular um, Velcro um, attachments here to secure the insert 
but with the Zuka Sport Pro it's a lot more sophisticated because it's covered with the material and it's a whole lot wider so it's not easy to actually um, rip off or take off. Um, with the back part as you can see the wheels are actually recessed on this one while well, this one is actually protruding out. So again the purpose of this one is to climb stairs and this one is for it to be able to fit perfectly at the overhead compartment of the airplane. Difference with the telescoping handles no difference at all. Same 41 inches height same material, same type of handle. Um, the only difference is this one actually um, has a fabric that covers this part of the frame, which is a lot more presentable. It houses the, your business card or your ID. Um, it has that pocket for the pro packing tips that Zika has for you to be able to maximize the um, base of your bag and also there is a handle right here which has a hard plastic on it so that when you carry the bag to the overhead compartment it's not going to hurt your fingers and like with this one when this bag gets heavy it will hurt your finger so yeah top of the bags basically the same it's just that this one is aluminum this one is painted on they have finger guards underneath, which is good, so that whenever you're carrying this at long distances, it's not going to hurt your fingers. So again, let's go inside. I'll show you what the pros and cons of having a recessed wheel has to offer. <laughs> so again, this is for my makeup. I already have all my makeup on it. Let's just set that aside for now. That's a lot of makeup I have here. So, what you have inside your sport is that it's all flat going to the back. So that means all of your pouches are going to fit in there and sit in there perfectly. With the Sport Pro, this is a disadvantage. Because the wheels were recessed, I don't know if you can really see it, but because the wheels were recessed from the outside going in, the wheels are actually blocking. If you can see the white spot right here and right here, those are actually wheels covered with the insert. So it actually blocks a part of your um, pouch. So that made it a little bit more um, impractical for me. So what I did was that I put the smaller pouches at the bottom so that they won't hit the wheel before I placed all of the large ones on top. So that's one of my secrets. I still have a lot of space up here for probably a towel, or a hair dryer, or whatnot. So that's basically it. That's your Zuka Sport Pro and your Zuka Sport.